A Niagara Falls man with a criminal history spanning three decades and two countries has now admitted to two crimes from 1996. So what's next? Two on your side's Jackie Roberts found out. William Shrubsell pleaded guilty to bail jumping and criminal contempt. It was 24 years ago when he faked his own death and fled to Canada while being tried for a sexual abuse case. He was still convicted even though he wasn't there. It's very unusual for people to flee. In my 38 years, you could count probably on one hand how many people actually abscond. Shrubsall, who changed his name to Ethan McLeod, ran into more legal trouble on the other side of the border and served time behind bars for assaulting three other women. When that sentence was up last year, he was deported back to the U.S. and began serving his two and a third to seven years in state prison for the 1996 conviction. A reminder, this is the same man who beat his mother to death with a baseball bat in 1988. I was in the office with Paul Clary, a wonderful lawyer who tried the case for William Shrubsall, and he was convicted and given a substantial sentence for manslaughter. Mr. Clary took that to the appellate division and rather astonishingly, they reversed it and determined him to be a youthful offender. So what could this latest guilty plea mean? Iano explains Shrubsell will likely face an additional two to six years in prison. There's reasons that people are sentenced and there's reasons that people are punished. One is general deterrence, to show defendants that you can't just abscond, come back into the jurisdiction and not pay a price. Um, the district attorney's office was prepared to try this case. We offered no plea bargain in this case. Uh, the only option for the defendant was to plead guilty to the entire indictment or face trial. And uh, today he chose to plead guilty to the entire indictment. Wotasik says it's the prosecution's position that Shrubshaw is extremely dangerous. She says it's important that this sentence be tacked on to the time he's currently serving, and he is scheduled to be sentenced on March 26th. Jackie Roberts, Channel 2 News.